Uncle Roger, Jamie Oliver, Gordon Ramsay, all those guys. This is hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Don't lump Uncle Roger, Gordon, and Jamie in same sentence. Hiya. I got a few requests to review Reynolds Nazi Goering fried rice and today we're going to do that. If you are new, welcome to the channel. My name is James. I have plenty of other videos on my YouTube channel, not just reaction videos. And if you do like this video while watching, then don't forget to hit that like button, share and subscribe as it helps my channel out greatly. And let's get started. The perfect hangover food for me. Oh, that's a lie. Oh, okay. The perfect hangover food for you is fried rice. Hangover. This guy get hangover. He looks so young. Hi, uh, why he got baby face? And he master chef finalist also. Is this Asian version of nephew Nick? Why that show always got so young looking boy on it? Is Master Chef Epstein favorite TV show or something? Hmm. And uh, this nasi goreng, my heritage, my culture, my country, from Indonesia. Ah. Indonesian fire rice very different from Cantonese or Chinese style fire rice. The color a bit darker, flavor a bit heavier. Remember that sambal we made earlier? Mm, sambal, yes. correct? It's gonna be the perfect little foundation of flavors. For those of you who don't know what sambal is, sambal is a chili paste. Yeah, it's not chili jam. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if Jamie was having to substitute uh, the chili jam for this. I don't think he was. But um, sambal is made with chilies, obviously, because it is a chili-based paste, but it also has, say, garlic, shallot, shrimp paste in it. So it has a lot of other ingredients in it. So it adds a lot of flavor to the dish that you're adding it to. That look nice. Bomb in your mouth. When? Good start. This is not like the regular fried rice, like Uncle Roger, Jamie Oliver, Gordon Ramsay, all those guys. This is hold up, hold up, hold <laughs> up. Don't lump Uncle Roger, Gordon, and Jamie in same sentence. Hiya. That like lumping Greta Thunberg, Prince, and Hitler all together. I know they're all vegetarian, but nowhere near as bad as Greta. But honestly, like this is next level. This, trust me, it's next level. You can tell that he's very excited, no? Showing you how to make this. Very, very excited. It's good. You want enthusiasm. It's perfect on a budget, easy to make, and you only need very, very few ingredients. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. That how Uncle Roger feel when people tell me they like Jamie Oliver. <laughs> you only need such little ingredients for this. Rice is essential, making sure that it's at least a day old. Make sure that's correct. Day old rice, correct. So I've got here's chicken. The rice doesn't just need to be day old rice, leftover rice, it needs to be a little on the harder side, yes? So if you way overcook the rice and it's mushy and then you saved it, it's still not the best rice to use. If the rice is a little drier, it's much easier to fry instead of it clumping together and being mushy. And he's also using chicken thighs. And chicken thighs are great because one, they have a lot more flavor and two, they will not dry out as fast or as quickly as chicken breast. Chicken thighs have a lot more fat in them and for this reason, they're able to withstand the higher temperatures before drying out than chicken breasts. Thigh feel a bit of chicken thigh. Very good, nephew Reno. Don't use chicken breast. It drier than my ex-wife. Hi, uh, going down on her just like eating sawdust. I've got my sambal. My egg good, sambal good. Fried shallots. Fried shallot good. Seasoning, salt. We don't really need it because we got the seasoning right here. Correct. And some oil. And there's one other key ingredient that you need. Okay. All right, I'm not outside. I'm inside my parents' home and I don't have a wok hay or a wok burner. So I've got my induction. Uh, uh, he's using an induction burner and a very teeny wok as well. So, you know, if you're in the same situation and you don't have space or whatever, you don't have any gas burners, it's low KI, that's what you have to do. If you can get a bigger wok and if you actually can use the gas burner with it, It'll be a massive difference than, say, using an induction. But if that's the space that you have, is how it is. It's, it's perfectly fine. Hi, uh, induction. You doing well so far, nephew Reno. But now you use induction. I'm inside my parents' home and I don't have a walk hail. And stop blaming your parent. Hi, uh, what are you? White person in therapy. So I've got my induction and my induction walk. I know I'm going to get shot on by you guys or by Uncle Roger. There. Oh yeah, it's not good enough. Don't get the wok hay. <laughs> this will be good enough, alright? 
Is that supposed to be impression of me? Oh yeah, it's not good enough. Don't get the work hey. It's so shit. Can't believe I'm getting roasted by someone who's still living with parent. Along with the heat, a bit of oil, peanut oil, grapeseed oil. Okay. As long as it's not olive oil. Correct. Don't use olive oil. Put that in. Whenever you're frying at high temperatures, you want to use another oil other than olive oil. Olive oil is very good for you, but it has a lower smoking point. And the smoking point is at which the oil starts to break down and then it can ignite. So if you use, say, peanut oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, these oils have a much higher smoking point, so they're much more suitable for frying at higher temperatures. Usually with fried rice, you can have the eggs chucked in first and scrambled in, or you can have it last on top of your fried rice, sunny side up. But I'm going to do it both ways at the same time because I at least need two eggs in me. Two eggs? Why are you so greedy, nephew mm. Reno? And why you say that like so dirty? You want two eggs inside you? Chicken in. Chicken go in good. But you see, you see, cooking on induction, it's so lame. It's like cooking on flat screen TV. Where the excitement? You need fire. Fire, always better than induction. It better feeling. Billy Joel, he sing we didn't start the fire. He don't sing we didn't start the induction. Hiya, that sound like terrible song already. And also, fire, you can tell people. You want high heat, low heat, whatever. But induction, you tell people how hot you want it, and then you have to say 600. What 600 mean? If people ask you how hot something should be and you say 600, you sound stupid. Fancy ass posh stainless steel dishwasher back there. But using the saddest single induction stove, hiya. That stove more single than Uncle Roger. Don't use it. You want that heat to be hot? Of course you want heat to be hot. How else can heat be? Then it's partially cooked, chuck in your sambal. It is more difficult whenever you're having to actually cook on an induction stove top. And you have to be a little careful, yeah? Because you don't want to be scratching the glass top. So this is why I prefer using gas other than electric or other than induction. It's much more efficient with electricity than a normal um, electric stovetop. And if you have to bring something up to a boil, like uh, water, stock, anything like this, it cooks much more quickly than a gas burner or anything like this. So there are some pluses and minuses to using an induction, but it is a little difficult whenever you want to like toss the pot or, or fry or stir or anything. Um, it's a little challenging. Okay, sambal go in. Nice. Coating the chicken and cooking sambal bring out more flavor. Good. Nice technique. Nice technique. Ooh! What that ooh for? Ooh! You're just putting shit in pan. Ooh, for what? So easily impress this nephew. Is this his version of Jamie Oliver? Yeah! yeah. Gonna add in my egg. I uh, learn how to crack with one hand, nephew Reno. Scrambled egg into my chicken and sambal. If you can teach yourself to crack with one hand, it's a great skill because it's much quicker than having to use both hands. Um, but it's not just that, it's the fact that to avoid adding any shells or anything to the food, it is better to crack the egg into another little ramekin or another bowl and then add it because you still may have a few shells here and there and to also crack the egg on a flat surface instead of any edge. One, you won't have egg running down your pan if you're cracking it on the side of the pan, and two, it's just, it's a little cleaner if you use a flat surface than actually using an edge or a countertop or anything like this. And as you can tell with the uh, induction, whenever you have to move a pan like this, you're scratching that top continuously. <laughs> Another thing, see, tossing with induction stove, super annoying. Sometimes Uncle Roger cook on induction stove. I lift up, walk from stove, and what happened? The stove turned off, hiya. Don't turn yourself off. What are you? My ex-wife, is it? Induction stove is the only stove that will go. I'm not in the mood today. <laughs> now, once my egg is in and cooked, next thing I'm gonna do is add in my rice. Yep, use hand good. Use your hands, correct. By feel, by... My recipe, oh, well. Wasting food. Uncle Roger gonna use my hand and beat you up. 
The Asian way, use your hands. Asian people, we very good with our hands. Message to all the auntie out there. Sorry, children. Day old rice in, give that a toss. It's much easier to use, say, the wok spoon or a ladle to crush the rice than using a spatula. Um, but if you are in this situation, then, you know, it is what it is. But it's much more efficient than just using a spatula. It's going to take you a little bit of time. When you're wanting to fry something, it's not just for um, wok, but also for like other pots and pans. Whenever you want to fry a product, you don't want to put a lot of ingredients into the pan because instead of frying at high temperatures, you're going to drop the temperature and it's going to be boiling with all the moisture at the bottom of the pan. So anytime that you're frying, you want to use a bigger pan. That way the food has more surface space, more contact with the heat source. And that way you'll be able to fry much quicker and much easier. Let's see it's tossing. Tossing, okay. And you want to try and break up the rice as much as you can. Breaking up rice, correct. But to make it easier, use ladle when you make egg fried rice. Mm. Like look at Uncle Wang Kang. You use ladle. You can punch the rice. Easier to separate them. He's doing with spatula. So awkward. Yeah. Now there's one more key ingredient, the most important one as well. MSG is ketchup manis, which is you almost drop it. Ketchup manis spilled on ground, very hard to clean. Your floor gonna be sticky for ever. Ketchup manis is sweet soy sauce. It's much more sugary than normal soy sauce. So this is why Uncle Roger is saying that, you know, you don't want to drop it on the floor because it will stick. The other thing though is you want to add this at the end of the cooking process because it has more sugar in it. It will start to burn much quicker than normal soy. Sweet soy sauce. And that's going to give that sweetness into this dish. But ketchup manis, correct? This is what makes nasi goreng Indonesian. Ketchup manis. You don't need too much seasoning because you've already got that MSG and that seasoning in the sambal. Fuyo! His sambal got MSG. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Can add some more sambal just for extra flavor. I'm going to turn Good. my heat off. Have a little taste. Careful with metal spoon. Okay, at least it didn't scrape the non-stick pan. Okay, baby. Let's go, it's nice and charred, slightly smoky. Mm -hmm. That's good. We're gonna add some salt for seasoning. <coughs> Ooh, this guy. Sambao make you sneeze like this. Your Weijo guy definitely white. <laughs> when I was on MasterChef and I made egg fried rice, the Chinese style, I got shot on by the judges saying it's too oily, but the flavors are there. And they say it's too much lop chong. Too much lop chong. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Roger agree with nephew Reno. No such thing as too much lop chong. Lop chong is Chinese sausage. It's the best thing. Only person Uncle Roger know who had enough of Chinese sausage is Auntie Helen. She left me and she on the bratwurst now. <sighs> what is love? I got shot on by the judges saying it's too oily, but the flavors are there. And they say it's too much lop chong. Master Chef judge don't like oil and don't like sausage. Do they all have COVID? Because it seems like they know taste. Oh, so good. So good, I want to punch you in the face. So good. This nephew, <laughs> this nephew got problem in his head. Hiya, so <laughs> violent. So good, I want to punch you in the face. When he eat good food, he want to punch people. Feel scared for his girlfriend. Why your boyfriend punch you? Because I bring him to good restaurant. I'm gonna start plating this. We ain't done yet. Mm. The rice color look good. Mm. Very wow, dark rice. brown color, mm. correct for nasi goreng. Hello, we. I'm gonna quickly clean this wok. I'm gonna fry an egg. A little bit of oil. It's just a smidge. Mm. Too little oil. If you're making a quick sunny side up egg, this is fine. But how they fry an egg here in Spain, they use about one inch of oil, yeah? Really hot oil, and then you drop the egg in. You want to fry quick and hot. You want to develop a crispy coating on the outside of the egg, fully on the entire egg, on the top as well, by splashing it with hot oil, and the center still needs to be runny. So you'll have that texture of the egg while having the yolk still runny. That makes a very, very good fried egg. But then again, 
you're using a lot of oil and if you're doing this over a fire Ooh, <laughs> it's a little bit of a fire hazard. Asian fire egg is special technique. You need to use so much oil because then your fire egg gonna be crunchy. Look at this clip from Marion Kitchen. See how the egg drowning in oil? And special Asian technique. See how she spooned the oil to cook egg from the top? That's how you fry both sides of egg. So crunchy, so good. Mmm, Uncle Roger hungry now. If you use so little oil, you're gonna end up making white people fry egg. It the worst. It just move and white and no texture. Hiya. Nephew Reno, why so little oil? Why? You use all the oil for hair gel, is it? Isn't she lovely? The other thing is whenever you're frying, the oil's gonna spit. You don't want to worry about that. It's normal for it to spit. The only thing is if you do have a gas burner, the worst thing you can do is react, freak out, and then tip the oil over the fire. Yeah, this is the worst thing that you can do. So the best thing when this happens is just to step back or to wear like a longer sleeve shirt like we do in the kitchen so you don't burn your arms while you're frying the eggs because it will spit and you will get burns every now and then. See? This is what I mean by white people fry egg. Usually the fried egg. Do you see difference between his fried egg and Asian style fried egg? A fried egg. You tell Uncle Roger which one look better to you. Little seasoning of bawang goreng. Ah, ah shallots. Fried shallots, so graceful. Forget sotbe. We now got shallot ray. All Indonesian homes have to have a prawn cracker. Prawn cracker, good. Prawn goreng as well. Correct. That prawn cracker, that's what we usually have with fried mm. rice and everything else. Oh, there it is. No, no, it's actually here. Fuyo, plastic box, good, good. And see how big it mm. is. That is authentic Asian way. We love storing shit in plastic. Uncle Roger living with my nephew Nigel. He store rice in mason jar. Hiya. Uncle Roger so disappointed in him. The hell is mason jar? Who the hell is mason? Why so white? So white. And fried prawn crackers. Nice. Right. Just break it a bit, it's too big. It's the perfect hang of a food. Smoky, steamy, hot and spicy. Mm. Full of flavor. I think he did a really good job. Stop posing. He's so full of himself. This nephew Reno look like guy who go to gym once a week and then post about it five times. Let me know what you think because I think it's pretty freaking awesome. It look good. Let's get the egg popped right in. <laughs> Yo, he make the egg squirting. That's a perfect sunny side up egg. It's still runny. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Oh man. Not bad, not bad, nephew Reno. Spot on. Scooping rice with pond cracker. Very Asian thing to do also. Only small mistake is the fried egg technique. Not Asian enough. But this nasi goreng very authentic. When Uncle Roger go to Australia this June, ticket link in description. Uncle Roger gonna check out your restaurant. Fuyo! I think that Reno did an excellent job. Um, it's just a shame that we can't taste it, no? Because we can see it, but you can't eat it. But in any case, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and let me know if you want me to review any other videos as well. I'm open to suggestions. And if you would like any other videos, well, I have plenty on my YouTube channel and you may be interested in this video right here as well. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe guys and I will see you again very soon. Take care.